All right, so then as far as logistics, so how I ship to the customer, so, and then how I get goods from the suppliers. So as I was saying, challenge of it is, shipping never takes what it's quoted, unless it's like, you know, DHL overnight, whatever they call it. Um, it uh, oftentimes takes much longer. Something gets held up in an airport, gets held up in customs leaving China, gets held up in customs getting into the US. It sits in a warehouse for an extra day and doesn't make it out in time to go from Memphis to Miami or wherever the hubs are, whatever the case is. And so it just takes a while. And so oftentimes, especially like if it's a product that, you know, out of stock on, it's like, oh, waiting and waiting and waiting. And then of course, sea shipping always takes forever. You know, it takes a long time. And so that's one of the reasons why, at least here in the US, where most of my sales come from, I like to have my own staff do the final stuff because they tend to turn around faster. Because oftentimes when I work with rep centers, they also tend to overquote how quickly they can get stuff turned around and it never happens. Like, oh yeah, it'd be two days, two, two three days just be the standard answer. And I've had suppliers take six weeks to get stuff turned around. And then they blame me because I start asking them like, okay, if it's gonna take you this long, can you do maybe this, a little bit of this and a little bit of that? So you know, these two products, instead of just doing everything, they say, I'm slowing them down. It's like, it didn't take six weeks. Or there was a holiday. Well, that, I'll give you a day, <laughs> you know? Um, so it's one of those, that's kind of the pain point is turning stuff around because, you know, you like I said before in the, previously, you've got money you've put on the line, both maybe initial deposit and then before it leaves, and then you're waiting for it to, to arrive and it, it never works out the way you hope it does. Um, and then, you know, there's usually something that has to be done when it gets here. I know some people ship directly into Amazon or their third-party fulfillment center or whatever the case is. Um, but that's definitely something that is a, a, a pain point <laughs> um, is that, you know, oftentimes it takes longer. And then sea shipping, you know, it's just, it sits on the dock. The, and this is the boat that we thought it was going to go on to leave China. And then it takes, you know, forever. So I, I try to build in, like whenever I'm quoted things, just adding in my head, like a few extra days in each little step of the process. Um, but it, it's one of those things. It's just, it's part of the business. It's part of the business. I guess I can't really complain too much about it. Now, as far as getting things to the customer, so generally speaking, if it's Amazon, you're probably familiar. They have fulfillment by Amazon. Most of the products I sell with Amazon I sell fulfilled by Amazon as opposed to fulfilled by merchant where I can ship it to the customer myself. So they, I send goods into their warehouse. They check it in. They put it on their shelves. Oftentimes, let's say they had me send it into Charlotte, North Carolina. They might take some of that stock and move it into Michigan and move some of it to Texas. And then they'll move some of it to California. They move it all over the place. And that's fine. They're good at logistics. So if they can get it to the customer, get it faster to the customer, it's good for the customer. What's good for the customer, I think is good for me. And, you know, if it's good for me, it's good for the supplier too. With When it's not Amazon, I do some of the orders myself or I'll have staff do orders myself. Um, you know, when it's outside of the country, if someone buys something, I'm either shipping it internationally from here and they're just paying international shipping, or maybe if they're in a country where there's an Amazon warehouse where I have stock, I might send it to them through fulfilled by Amazon. Um, and then, you know, oh, and then any advice I might have to suppliers on logistics, be upfront, don't be too optimistic. Like sometimes I'd rather know like how long it would take like if, it's, if, if the factory is behind and say, well, just, it's gonna take 30 to 45 days. Don't say 20 to 25 days to get the order. Like be upfront and honest because just as you would want the customer to be upfront and honest with you, be upfront and honest with timelines. Um, you know, we all could be optimistic and say, you know, it could be as long as 45 days. We're, you know, we just finished the big order. So we're working through it and we're catching up. But you know, nobody likes to be told 20, 25 days, and especially if you're running low on stock or it's getting to be a holiday season and you're making certain decisions based on that information. And then all of a sudden you end up missing something because now all of a sudden it took an extra three weeks. That's, that could sour the relationship. I'll say that.